all right today I just wanted to bring y'all a quick how-to video uh, after a little bit of trial and error on my part I finally got my transducer set to where I am getting uh, readings depth readings at speed while on plane so uh, I just kind of wanted to go over a few things that I did and things that went wrong that led me to this point so I'm finally getting a reading at speed this is a 2019 Sun Tracker pontoon boat uh, 20 foot it has the 90 horsepower mercury uh, 2019 so uh, it doesn't go the fastest so 25 28 miles an hour uh, if I'm by myself I could push about 30 but uh, I'm getting depth readings at speed it took me a little while to get there so let me take you along and uh, I'll show you what I did and you could do it too if your fish finder is as soon as you get to about 12 miles an hour 12 15 miles an hour it was it was just going out the depth would just start flashing or if it showed anything at all and it wasn't reading right so uh, if you're having that problem then stick around check out what I did I'm gonna show you what I did and uh, you can set your transducer and most likely you'll get a reading of speed too so uh, here we go all right two things you will need uh, in order to set this up now let's let's act like your transducer is already mounted so you, you, you don't need any drills anything like that uh, you, you may need a wrench to loosen your bolts but um, you'll need I used a pitch and slope locator you can use a torpedo level if you don't have one of these and a sharpie to just mark where the bubbles at and then we got a framing square right here um, that is the two pieces that I needed and you know like I said you, you may need a wrench to loosen these bolts here to drop it or, or raise it uh, mine was actually so high that I had to re-drill the hole so uh, just check yours first if it's if it's not within the adjustment slots then you will have to drill uh, mine was all the way up here to begin with so you can see how far I had to drop it so uh, do this check and then see where you're at First, take your framing square to where it is flat underneath your pontoon, not wobbly. You want it flat. You want to stick it to your transducer. Now, if you can see, with that level flat or square flat, I got about an eighth of an inch of my transducer. About kind of hard to hold it one hand I got about an eighth of an inch of my transducer under the bottom of the boat so it is not level with the bottom it's about an eighth of an inch below the bottom okay so before I had it to where it was the, the bottom was kind of even with the bottom uh, wasn't getting a reading so now I've dropped it to where this front part you want that at least an eighth of an inch below some transducers have a little line right here where the seam is this one doesn't but uh, you want it an eighth of an inch below the bottom of your boat your pontoon all right after you get the front where you want it now we have to adjust the tilt on it so that's where we need this so what I did because the water we run in is pretty nasty it leaves this water line so most pontoons that I've seen have some sort of water line where it runs. You know, if you've ever put thing in the water now, if it's brand new, you, you're going to have to put it in the water to, and then get you your torpedo level and and see how. You know, a lot of people use quarters. They'll put quarters under the end of it to see how how many quarters it takes. 
to uh, to get the boat level and then you take that back home you get your your boat to where you're level uh, in the driveway with your jack and then you can come back here and adjust this to level but uh, since we have this water line right here we actually just got out the water yesterday so we haven't cleaned it off yet but uh, you take your pitch and slope indicator and you just figure out what pitch that that water line is at right now so roughly not even one degree or want one inch of rise per 12 inches per foot so you take that reading you come and you set your transducer to where your transducer matches that pitch of the water line or like I said if you don't have the water line then you can use quarters and a torpedo level to, to, to figure out what it takes where, where your boat sits at in the water all boats are different but uh, this Sun Tracker pontoon sits a lot further please disregard all the mud <laughs> Uh, it's been raining like crazy for like the last three days but the sun tracker pontoon sits a lot lower in the back whenever you're in the water at uh scanning speed so whenever i'm I, i'm i'm going through scanning and uh you know looking for fish and structures and everything else the, the back end of the boat sits a lot further in the water than the, the front does so that's why the water line looks so cockeyed but i matched my transducer to the water line so now everything is level so I'm an eighth of an inch below the bottom of the pontoon here I'm also level with the water line pitch everything matches exactly the same um, so with that once I go up and I get the boat at my cruiser my scanning speed I know that this level, I know it's under the water, everything's good, I'm not getting any, any air bubbles up underneath it, it's riding good. At 28 miles an hour yesterday, uh, I was actually getting depth readings, so everything looks good on that. But once you get it set, just tighten everything down, secure it, and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope this helps somebody out there. Uh, it was giving me fits. I, I knew there was a way to get this transducer to read while I was at full speed. Wasn't getting it before, but uh, knew there had to be a way. Even though a lot of people told me that a transom mounted transducer was almost impossible to get a reading at speed, uh, I just wanted, I knew there was a way and uh, we found it. I also, once I figured this out, I used the same principles on my bass boat, adjusted that. Uh, transducer a little bit and it works so it's definitely uh, something to consider if you're not getting a read while you are at full speed mine was cutting out at 15 miles an hour and it was just starting to flash 12 to 15 and now it is reading no matter how fast I go which in this pontoon boat is it the fastest but hey you know at least now I know when I'm going 30 miles an hour how deep the water is and some of you I bet cannot so if you like this video, think about giving us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe. If you like this kind of content, I, I try to bring you some, some how-tos, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of everything. I, I, I'm not stuck to one thing on this channel. I like to kind of do it all, you know, a, as it comes. So if you like that kind of stuff, come along for the ride. See you later.